Welcome to the Rusted Garden Homestead. I want to show you a quick hack to provide shade in your garden. Now, it's the beginning of August. I am working my beds, planting my fall garden, essentially, and I'll be doing a full video on that uh, probably tomorrow. Planting in cool weather crops, planting in some more warm weather crops, but your cool weather seeds like arugula, lettuce, spinach, kale, collards, don't like the pounding August sun. They love the warmth, the ambient temperature, the surrounding temperature, but they don't like high soil temperature. So when that sun is beating down like it is now, my southern sun is behind me, it can heat that soil up to 100, 110 degrees, 120 degrees. Your cool weather seeds, your germinating seeds just aren't going to do well. This is a very simple hack, saves you a lot of money. You can take any stick and put a cardboard box on top or a metal pan if you're worried about rain kind of softening up the plastic, I'm sorry, softening up the cardboard. This works really well. You can adjust it to any height. Light still gets in there, so you're not covering the ground, say with cardboard to help carrots germinate. The sunlight is getting in there, airflow is getting in there, and you can see the wind's blowing and that tin is staying perfectly fine. I just want to add real quick too, this is a great way to protect your summer transplants that are going to be for your fall garden. When we're dropping in kale, collards, broccoli, brussels, etc. into the ground, they're not used to that really warm soil temperature. They could just kind of sit there and they could be damaged by the sun. By simply putting this over them, keeping the ground watered, they're going to establish better, the root system is going to grow more quickly, and you're just going to have beautiful plants as the cool weather of September begins rolling into your garden. This is just an alternative, and it's great because I'm going to be planting collards and kale underneath this for my fall garden beginning of August, and I'm just going to leave that up. That will greatly cool the soil, the kale is going to do much better, the collards are going to do much better. Let's just get to the basic design. It, you can use anything similar to this. Simple paper clip underneath provides support so that the tin or cardboard box, you can even just use a sheet of cardboard, doesn't flop around and touch the ground. This is going to stay in place and it's going to be effective at really cooling that soil. Shade will bring the soil temperature down a good 15 to 20 degrees. With the cardboard box, same design. I'm not affiliated with Starbucks, I wish I was, and just a basic paper clip. Any design like this is going to work, and you would just push it down further as the seeds are just planted and start germinating. It will stay nice and cool, and then you can just raise it as you wish. Great way to cool the soil and get a lot of your cool, get a lot of your cool weather crops into the ground now, and you're not going to be bothered by the high soil temperatures. High temperatures can slow the germination of your cool weather crops, it can actually kill the seeds when they germinate, and it can dry out and damage the seeds that actually sprout and, and become seedlings. The shade's going to make all the difference and this is a super cost-effective way to plant your cool weather crops in August here in Maryland. Thanks so much for watching. I highly encourage you to try planting a cool weather crop garden now. Sometimes we get burned out with the heat of the summer, but there's so much that can grow here in Maryland in many places through August, September, October, and November. Hope you give it a try. Thanks for watching. Please check out my seed shop at therustedgarden.com.